The Minister of Mines, Paul Kabutswe, has urged all concerned parties, such as politicians and other leaders, to always seek facts first before they comment on sensitive issues. This stems from the current debate on what was seized at the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport on Monday. Now, I want to age our people, especially politicians. And this is why certain people are not fit to be leaders. Because when you are a leader, when you hear something, don't rush to the media to go and open your mouth and just begin to talk anyhow. What a leader does and what a person who is worth to be a leader should do is to get the facts first. You are going to make a decision that will put your own country on fire. Yet you realize that actually what we are talking about is not what it is. So you don't rush quickly to begin to condemn here and there. For me, the first thing I'll do as a responsible leader and responsible Zambian is first and foremost to thank the government and the security wings for being alert. Meanwhile, the minister has explained that his ministry was requested by the investigative institutions to analyze the seized contraband. As you realize, the Ministry of Mines is not an investigative wing. The Ministry of Mines is in charge of mining, mining activities, minerals development. That is our charge. So when we hear an activity where something that concerns us is mentioned, such as gold, of course we raise our eyebrows and we begin to want to understand what is going on. Fortunately enough, when the story broke out that there is some gold somewhere that has been found, our ministry was contacted immediately by the Drug Enforcement Commission and other security wings. And we had a team from Geological Survey Department, which was agently constituted, consisting of the chief geologist, a senior metallurgist, a senior chemist, and a gemologist. And what they found in terms of content was that those bars contained copper in the range of 58 to 61 percent and zinc in the range of i think 38 to 41 percent and trace amounts of tin were also found osimium and nickel each of which were less than 0 0.8 percent the total number of those pieces that were contained in the four boxes were 602 with a mass of 127.28 kgs. And the Drug Enforcement Agency Director General Nathan Banda has appealed to the public to give his institution and other investigative wings space to conduct their investigations thoroughly. As a commission, when we are carrying out investigations, we as much as possible do not bring in the actual names of the people until we are sure that they are actually involved in the criminal activity. So for now, all the speculation going on, just take it as mere speculation until you get it from this desk. And I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, that we shall be available for you, just like we are here for you. The moment we are done, a couple of days from now, we know what is going on, we'll give you a very comprehensive release with names of people that are going to be charged, your faces are going to be charged with, and when we expect them to appear in court, everything will be given to you. But for Jimmy Kanasha, Revelation News.